Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you came to stay and subscribe so you can see upcoming videos that I post weekly. So today, I'm going to kind of be explaining why I haven't been posting any workout videos, and not just here, but on my Instagram as well. Like, I usually post on my story pictures and like little mini videos of me doing my workouts there, but I'm going to, this video, I'm going to kind of like explain why I haven't posting any workout videos not because i don't want to but because i haven't been able to i can't work out right now because my lower back is injured and i had to take a couple weeks off and i don't know how much longer i'm gonna have to take a couple weeks off so i am going to be doing an x-ray i believe i'm gonna be going to the chiropractor today so i can get an x-ray done and then i don't know what else i'm gonna get done i know many of you have been dming me um why i haven't been posting workout videos and that you miss my workout videos and i wanted to clarify everything in this video why i haven't been posting so i injured my back recently um it was like the weekend before i left to chicago so a couple weeks ago and that wasn't the only time i injured my back I injured my back back in September, so I'm going to kind of rewind to September because that's where it all started. And also, if you hear cars, I'm literally right next to a window. But going back into September, it was like the first weekend of September. It was a normal Saturday. Me and Alan decided to go to the gym early in the morning. So we went, and I was already mid my workout. Moving on to my next workout, which is the Smith Machine. I was going to do a couple squats there. I usually do four sets of 10 reps, and I have... Uh, 45 plate on each side so i do that workout pretty often and i've been doing it pretty often and i've never injured my back from it i don't know what it was i was like too into the music i don't know but i wasn't paying attention which i should have been and i believe i wasn't standing right in the middle of the like smith machine because it's very important that you do but i guess i don't know what it was at this time i just was not paying attention and i guess i was more on the left side because my back is more injured on the left side like i feel more pain there and mind you i had a 45 plate on each side so if i was standing more on the left side then that means i had more weight on my left side so i i was standing and i had my hands like this and i ended up doing the squat as soon as i went all the way down i felt the worst pain ever like i've never felt this pain before and i don't i can't describe the pain like i honestly felt like a like i don't know if it was a pop or i don't know what it was but i just felt something that I shouldn't have felt like I instantly when I felt that pain I put the weight back and I was like crap I think I messed up my back I told Alan I was like you know what I'm not gonna finish my workout I'm just gonna lie down and stretch and mind you this has never happened to me before and so I'm new to this I, I don't I didn't know if I had to go to the chiropractor at that moment I didn't know how I was gonna feel the next day I thought maybe it was just a really bad pain that I was just gonna have at that moment and maybe I just need to stretch to like heal it no this it got worse the next day it honestly got worse that the night that i slept that same night that i went to sleep because i slept so wrong i couldn't even walk right like i felt weird walking um when i sat down it felt very very uncomfortable i couldn't even go all the way down like um i would you know how you can go all the way down like that like and you could touch your toes like i couldn't even i think the farthest i went was like like right here and that was it like i could not i felt the pain when trying to go lower so i was like i'm not gonna force it that's not good then the rest of the day went on i told alan I was like you know what i'm gonna see how the next day goes and so i'm like so new to this whole like injured lower back thing that i thought i could sleep normal like just lay straight on my back because at that moment it felt fine but you know in the middle of the night you had to you know use a restroom well it was like two in the morning i had to get up and use the restroom i remember i i tried to get up and instantly i felt pain like so much pain and i didn't want to wake up alan who was next to me who was asleep i didn't want to wake him up so i was trying my best to get off the bed by myself so i was like gliding off the bed so i didn't get off like you know normally you just get up and get off no i literally was lying down straight on my back and because i couldn't move like i was in so much pain and i knew that i was like effed <laughs> so um i was like gliding off gliding off like slowly 
and I did one leg at a time so I had one leg almost touching the floor and I made it to that like that's all I can do I was trying my best to keep gliding off but I literally screamed. I was like, Alan, Alan, wake up, wake up. I'm, I'm stuck. I can't get up. And I was like, st I was drenched in sweat. I was, I was in so much pain. I've never felt this pain in my life. I hope no one ever has to go through this lower back injury. And I know it's common because I YouTubed it. But yeah, I was yelling. Alan, I was like, Alan, wake up. Wait. He got so scared. He's like, what, what happened? What happened? He got up so fast. Um, he ran around the bed. He was like trying to help me. And I was like, no, 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 no. I wanted him to help me, but then I didn't want him to help me. It was just so painful. And I told him, I was like, I can't get up. It hurts. The way I slept straight on my back is one of the worst ways to sleep when you have a lower back injury. So... I never slept like that again the rest of the days when I had this back injury. I told Alan, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do it really fast because I can't with this pain. So I, I literally just caught up super fast. Like I got on my two feet and the pain lasted like a whole minute. Like it was just excruciating. It was just really, really bad. I told Alan, I was like, it's okay, go back to sleep. I'm just going to walk around, kind of like move around, you know, loosen it up a bit because it was super, super stiff. I could not move. I was walking back and forth and an hour passed. And throughout the whole hour, I was like Googling what, how I should sleep what i need to take and i think i took like a painkiller because it was just really bad because i was so scared to sleep but I, I was like you know what i'm so tired i need to lie down and i was like just lie down you need to lie down and i told him i was like, okay i think i figured out a way i can lie down and so I lie down on my side. Alan literally had to help me get on the bed. So I used his hand to get on the bed. I slept on my side and I kind of had like my legs not straight but curved a little. And then I had to have a pillow like this one in between my legs. And I was hoping that this would help me sleep comfortably and I didn't have to go through this pain again. So a few hours passed by. I believe it was like 6 in the morning. And I was so afraid to get up. But I slowly got up on my side and I actually didn't feel the discomfort that I did hours before and I was so happy I was like thank god was, the pain was so bad that I couldn't even put my shoes on I couldn't put my pants on like Alan had to do that for me he had to do all that for me like Alan had so much patience and I thank him so much because he helped me so much throughout this whole back injury but i gave myself two weeks to not work out and then came the third week and i did, went to the gym but i didn't lift anything heavy i believe i did like body weight workouts and i lift like five or ten pounds at the most and i did i was starting lightly and then i worked my way up and you know it felt normal um i didn't feel any discomfort when i went back to working out so that happened the first week of september which is horrible and i never thought i would go through this again but no then came the first weekend of october okay it wasn't the first weekend of october it was the third weekend of october i was doing a complete different workout and i was barely starting my workout i had did a few warm-ups and then i began my first workout so i did my workout and then it happened again i went to a chiropractor as soon as that happened again and i was like i told alan i was like i don't think my back ever healed properly and i should have never went back to working out without seeing a specialist first and i was so mad at myself because that week that was coming up we were gonna leave to chicago and i was like i cannot go to chicago with an injured back um, and mind you, I can't even like walk normally. I Alan has to put my shoes on, my pants on. Like he has to help me do so much because I just can't. And it's really bad to force it as well, and painful. So I went to the chiropractor and they did an adjustment, and it was like it wasn't painful. It kind of felt like a little good, but he did say, you know what, you are gonna feel more discomfort tomorrow. Like you're gonna feel it. And I was like. I know. I knew the feeling I was going to go through because it happened to me in September. So I knew the whole process I was going to have to go through again. And I was like so sad. I was so mad because I had just told Alan. I was like, I just got back into the gym not too long ago. I'm so used to going to the gym. Like I love going to gym. Like it's my routine. I go five to six days out of the week. So having to stop going to the gym for a few more weeks and... Till this day, I don't know when I'll be able to go back to the gym. I'm, I'm sad, guys. Like, I haven't really been myself. And that is 
and that is why I haven't been posting any videos here on YouTube of me going to the gym and I miss showing you guys my workouts so much like I really enjoy showing you guys and sharing what I like to do at the gym and stuff like that and posting on Instagram but I just can't like I don't want to force anything because if I do then this is just gonna keep on happening and stop going to gym for a couple more weeks and I don't want that to happen again When I see Alan go to the gym I get so sad I'm like I wish I could go he's like just come with me and stretch because I can stretch which is really good and very important that I do daily but I just told him I was like no I'll just stretch at home <laughs> But yeah, that's why I haven't really been able to post anything guys and I'm so sorry. I really miss Posting but I hope you guys are being patient with me and I would definitely let you guys know When I'll be back at the gym like for sure So I'm gonna take as much rest as I need I'm gonna see what the chiropractor tells me and go from there But I'll definitely let you guys know when I end up coming back with showing my workout videos and all of that which I cannot wait. I'm gonna come back stronger, super energized, super ready. I YouTubed stretches to do for a lower back injury, which I'll probably show you the stretches I'll end up doing later because I do it every single day. And it's a video that tells you how to like, what not to do and what to do. It's a really good video. And now I'm sitting on the floor. I have my mat, on the, I'll show you in a minute, but I have like my mat laid out. And I'm gonna show you which video I'm talking about that i keep saying that's really good because it actually has helped me i've done other stretches from other videos and i've actually felt worse or i just didn't feel any improvement at all but these i feel improvement and it's just well explained as well so let me show you the video i'm talking about this is the video i'm talking about his channel is called jeremy ethier and it's called the worst stretches for low back pain and what to do instead featuring dr stuart mcgill and then it shows you like some of the stretches that you're not supposed to do and it makes your back worse. So I suggest watching this if your lower back hurts. But I'm going to go ahead and do these stretches because I like to do these. I like to do these at least once a day if not twice a day. Okay, it's the next morning. It's about 8.30. So my appointment at the chiropractor is at 9 a.m. I was able to fit an appointment today, which I'm very happy because I've just been trying to book an appointment and all the times they were giving me the other days, I just couldn't go. So finally going today and today they're going to be doing the consultation and the x-ray and I believe I have to go back to get the x-ray results and the alignment. So we'll see what the chiropractor tells me. I'm for sure going to ask when he thinks I'll be able to go back to the gym because I'm so eager to go back. But of course, like I said yesterday, I just have to be patient with my body and just hope for the best. I don't know. I'm currently waiting in the office. Why am I nervous? It's so weird. <laughs> okay, eyebrows, you came through today. Okay, I'm back in the office. Everything was really fast. Um, as soon as he walked in, I explained everything to him, like what happened, when it happened, and I also asked when I can go back to Jen because I'm, I really want to go back. But he explained everything so good. Everybody was so nice there. I got good vibes ever since like I walked in. But I definitely like this place way better than the one I went last time because I told him what the other chiropractor had told me last time saying that my back wouldn't go back to normal ever and I'm like what do you mean my back won't go back to normal I didn't really do anything crazy you know so I was just like um and then but I told the chiropractor here that and he was like yeah you shouldn't have said that and so he did a couple stretches on me and he told me that to let him know if anything hurts so he did everything and honestly everything went well nothing hurt with all the stretches he was doing the only thing that i'm just kind of like scared to do still and he saw he noticed that i was kind of scared was me bending over to touch my toes because the other day i think it was like four days ago that i tried to do that and i felt like a little sharp pain and i explained that to him 
and he was like it's okay don't force yourself just go as far as you can so other than that everything came out really good he said that everything looks good he scanned me with the x-ray machine and he told me that i will be getting my x-ray results on monday and that was the earliest day he could get me in which is totally fine it's today's thursday so it's just a couple days from now so i got the earliest appointment so i can't wait to get my results he says that that everything looks really good so he would just have to look over the x-rays and then see from there and then um he'll also do the alignment that day so i can't wait to get the alignment as well but i don't know i have a feeling that i'm gonna be able to go back to gym like really really soon like sooner than i thought because i do feel a lot better like every day i'm improving i am gonna keep doing my stretches every single day you saw the stretches i did yesterday i try to do them twice a day if not once a day for sure but yeah i'll like fill you guys in on uh, on monday when it happens i'll like put it in the comment section down below and let you guys know how the results came out and all that so i definitely recommend going to a chiropractor if you if your back hurts because it's just very important you don't want to mess up your back again like i did so i learned my lesson to go to a chiropractor as soon as your back is injured because you just really need to get that checked but yeah, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed me explaining like why I haven't been going to the gym for these past weeks and not because I don't want to, but I just can't. But I'll be back very soon. That is all for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.